What's good, guys? Teflon YGO here, man, and I'm coming to you guys with um, got a little Chaos Impact box open for you guys. This is a little Sunday, light Sunday. Really not much to do. And I know last week I kind of slacked off on the channel for you guys. So, you know, I know I said I was going to open this if the uh, other video had got 20 likes. But I kind of felt like I slacked off on you guys last, uh, last week. So, I said, you know what? Let's go and bust this uh, Chaos Impact Booster Boss open. Um, really nothing we really can get out of here that would be probably worth anything except um, a Starlight. But uh, none of this. It just opened. It was some um, stuff in here. I remember when it came out that I, I couldn't wait for this because Scriker Dragon actually came here as an ultra rare. So, um, just hoping to get, I guess, we want to get like a, a Scythe. Um, that's Life of Dragon. Um, what's that? Safer Dragon. Or Starly Safer. He's in here as a secret. Um, I think the, um, what are these? Abomination Unchained cards are up in here. Also, um, I know a Marensis, um, Blue Tang. This, um, another secret. Um, and as far as I can remember, those were only good secrets. IP as an ultra rare. You had, like, the, um, Tiger, um, Test Tiger. Gladiator Beast. As you can see right there, Gladiator Beast come back. So, um, without further ado, man, let's just hop into this Light Chaos Impact box open. Shout out to, um, my locals, who I got this from, and, um, Mississippi, called, um, Pinter Smite Gaming, so shout out to them. And if you guys like these boost, older booster boxes, which I know a lot of people do, y'all let me know, and I'll try to grab some of these, uh, other booster boxes, like, um, I know they're expensive, but I'll probably try to crack open like a rise or crack open like, uh, what's the other one? Eternity Code. I know one of my friends got the Eternity Code box, and uh, I'm going to try to get it from for you guys. But, just going to crack it open. Oh, yeah. Also, I think the Dream Mirrors are in here, too. And right off the bat, we got an Ultra Rare Bounty. Uh, Gladiator Beast card. I think this one of these Gladiator Beast cards was like an um, Ultra Rare Sneak Peek. I remember that. I think is this the right set. Ultra Rare Bounty. I think this might be the same set that they, um, no, nah, I think he came around the rampage. But the other Ultra Rare I kept getting the um, Sculpture Dude. Um, we got a Phantasma Dream of the Dream Mirror. Let me get these in a, there we go. Get them in a, um, third pack. Dream Mirror Trap. And yeah, there they go. That's what I'm talking about. The Marensis cards. The Marensis Manor. I actually like Marensis. So if I pull a couple of those, I might play. Uh, I think the other Marensis cards were in Rise of Rampage, if I'm mistaken. I don't think so. This, the, I want to say Rise of Rampage, the sit before this one. Yep, and uh, Solomon Great still was good around this time, too. And guys, I'm gonna go and put a small disclaimer in this thing, man. If y'all hear any noise, it's probably just my kids playing in the back. And, like, you know, you can't take these box openings back, so <laughs> if they interrupt it, you know, I'm gonna still just go on through with it, you know. You know, they might be making noise. So, you do think I got uh, some Marensis cards, though. But I feel like Marensis is a good dig. It's real good with the frog dig. And um, this is the Gladiator Beast, I think, that you got as an um, Ultra Rare or something like that. No, nah, I think this is the one that's an Ultra Rare and a Mega 10. But it's one that they gave you a sneak peek that's an Ultra Rare. Can't actually remember. Um, really just expecting them probably pull some Unchained stuff. Because I think they had, like, a lot of secrets, so... Um, there's the test tiger for the gladiator beast. Um, with the wrong stats, I was I also got the uh, gladiator beast united, and you also got the battle ocean, which was I think in the rise of rampage special edition. I think it's um, a super. The white train. Uh, we got a dream mirror card. Overdrive Dragon. You know, we just small coast. You know, it's just some Sunday. You just want to coast. We did go to the um, Team 3v3 last week. I mean, not last week, yesterday. 
and like you might hear a dog now but um we did go to the 3v3 last um, i don't know why i want to say last week but yesterday and um man and team we unfortunately had like um tied points tied with um like i want to look at it star league as a secret this and this and this nice we have a secret star league so um you know, I might just get there for any people that playing Dragon Link. So, um, yeah. Rare Legacy Key. Uh, I might need that for my Rare Legacy collection. But, um, yeah. Basically, um, my team, we uh, had out of all the tiebreakers, the lower tiebreakers. But from, like, it was top eight. But, like, from, I want to say fourth to, like, twelfth, everybody had um, the same amount of points. Unfortunately, we didn't get the top to go playing to the top cut of that. But um, I'm kind of already happy with this box because we got a starting safer. So, I mean, it was like one of my favorite. It was the, my main card I wanted to get, Dead and Striker Dragon out of this set. So if I can pull a, um, a blue tank, because I do want a, a blue tank. I have, I think, one. But if I can pull uh, another blue tank, I'll definitely be happy with that. And just to see if they map, I think we pulled this star lead at the third to the last pack. So, you know how we do. We put that one to the side. Let's see what we put. Let's see if the packs map, man. Oh, man, I forgot this guy was in here. Draco Berserker, the team, the original Ultra. This dude was insane. And he was quite a uh, nice price. I think he was like $10. Like, um, release. He was like $10. Bucks. So yeah, we got him and that's a pretty nice card. I don't know, I really kinda like this this is a nice card in Dragon League. Also, people do not play it, but I think it's a good card. You, I mean, you don't have to play it right now and it's different because you have like um tight it's good, so you know you really don't be wanna play it. Well, and also this guy never the dragon. Let me take him I be needing to keep up with him too. He's a good rare for those um dragon decks. So I need to take him out. And look at that, we got two packs that stuck together. Hopefully they trying to tell me, uh, oh yeah, but like I said, we can't get a starlight out of here. So hopefully that's a starlight. I know now I think it's changed that if you still pull a uh, starlight, you um, still pull like your other cards. But I know back then we didn't um, pull, if you pull the starlight, you didn't get all your um, your rares. So like, I think it like replaced the secret. Or whatever the starlight was, if it was an ultra, it probably replaced the ultra or something. Like that. I don't know, but I know in one of my Rise of page boxes, um, when it first came out, I pulled the Appalosa and I only got one secret plus the Appalosa, so I don't really know how they work back, back then, but I know back, uh, now that they still give you two secrets. I also watched my friend pull a, um, my friend pulled the, um, IP at Locals when this shit came out. I pulled the, um, I had, like, a good, I had, like, a good thing going with the Starlights. I pulled, um, Appalosa, then I didn't pull one out here, then, in the next set, which would have been Ignition Assault, I pulled, um, the water charm, then she came out addiction so then the eternity co up with the effect veiler and a dragon maid. But since then my luck has been down. And also we can get the firewall dragon card. Oh man, this would have been bro, if I had bought this box in two thousand and nineteen, bro, this would have been an insane box. They got the unchained abomination to lean for. Um that card's crazy. And you know, this was played in like the first variants of Dragon Link. And, like, basically, this would have been already an insane box. Like, it would have been a good box. Um, it still wasn't that high value because uh, I think back then the higher cards were um, safer. Maybe Blue Tank, um, the Scriker Dragon, and IP. And I didn't pull out of my options. I didn't pull IP or Scriker Dragon. But I did pull the other two on um, options that kind of, like, was in the other two, uh, like, 10, 5. Because IP was, like, 50 and Scriker Dragon was, like, 20. But then Starly still was like 52, so um, still like a good box if you're trying to get your money back. I'm, I'm, uh, I bought it for a decent, a good price from locals because they still had it. So I'm kind of stoked that it's, um, 
And then I got the star leads out of there. Yep. Pull up. This is the dream mirrors though. And like I said, there's a lot of um Marantz and stuff here. I do like the deck. I'll eventually one day start collecting like just the decks that I like and slowly like, I still do that now, like slowly get the, the cards for decks I like in the past years and just hold on to them. Got a Marantz's crystal heart. So maybe we was right about that third last pack. The packs must run out. Because I haven't got another secret yet. Or it could be in this, which is the last pack. And we have another Gorgon. So this is the last pack, guys. Let's see what secret we get. We could get, um, I know we can get the cover card as a secret. We can get a blue tang, the abomination cards. I think they had like four secrets. So they put us at five. Um, what's the other secrets in this set? Solomon Great. I forgot about Pyro Phoenix is in here as a secret. And I um, don't know the other one. But let's see. I know there's like three or four Unchained secrets. So. Primal Mesh. I remember they were talking a lot about those cards. And we got a Unchained Soul of the Rage. Yep, that's what I said. I don't even remember they was the uh, secrets in the set. There's like four Unchained Secrets. So, guys, that has been the box opening, man. If you guys like, you know, openings like this, let me know. I can, will continue to bring you guys openings of um, anything I can get hold to. If you would like to see something specific, like, don't go out and say uh, fucking L.O.B. first. The box can't afford for that of course but like, if it's a decent box and it's like in a 200 dollar on down range i can try to um, grab that box for you guys even if it's an older set um y'all drop it and be like open this if it's like under 200 bucks and i can get a um first ed booster box of it i will get in open on the channel for you guys like um like what's an old booster set maybe old right now like on oh, something like um lord of the tech young galaxy it's like one of my favorite sets and i just threw that out there because it's old but if I can get something old like that, um, and you guys, it's under like 200, you guys want to see, or it's just any other sets that are under 200, and you guys want to see it. Like I said, I do have a friend who has an Etern to Code box. He, um, been talking to him. He said he'll give me a nice price on it, and I probably, um, buy it off on just to open it for you guys. Um, right now, there's a lot of stuff that's expensive in the set, but at the same time, the Mega Tens will carry that set in it, so... Um, the value will go down sooner or later on this set, but you know, every set like that, you can always pull, you know, the, it's expensive just for the fact that you can pull the star light. But, um, guys, like I said, that's it with the opening, man. Like, comment, and subscribe. Leave in the comment section some more sets that you'd like to see open. I can try to pick those up. It's been your man, Teflon YGO, man. See you guys in the next video.